How security officers can write incident reports in five easy steps. That is the topic today on Training with Terry. Step one, the officer needs to use normal language. Some people think they should use fancy jargon on an incident report. The opposite is so true. Use everyday English rather than complicated police terms. Lots of different people may re be reading your report. Supervisors, police, juries, needs to be understandable to lots of different types of people. So the less jargon, the better. Step two, remember the five W's of report writing. A nice way to capture the most important details is to remember these five W's. The first being who? Who were the people involved? Who else witnessed the events? Did you get their contact information and other relevant information about them? If you didn't get their names, describe their physical characteristics, but avoid using offensive language to describe people. The second being what? What actions and events happen? Start from the beginning and go point by point or event by event and include as much detail as possible on how each event unfolded. The third being when. What date and time of the incident? Depending on the type of incident, you may also find it useful to describe the weather, the lighting conditions, and other conditions in the area. The fourth being where. Where exactly did the incident take place? Include addresses or use details about nearby objects or buildings. Be as precise as possible. And the fifth is why. This is generally not as important of a fact unless you heard someone say something explaining their actions. It's best not to speculate. Your job is to stick to the clear, indisputable facts. Only include facts is topic number three. As you saw from the why category, it is important to be objective. Do not give your opinion about who was at fault. It'll actually make your report weaker. You must stick to the facts, the things that you saw with your eyes and heard with your ears. The fourth being take photos and videos. If your phone has a camera on it, take as many photos and videos as you can. They provide additional objective information and some use mobile report apps like SilverTrack or Zenput, which lets you complete an incident report on your smartphone, including photos and videos in the actual report. Number five, be professional. Remember, a lot of people may be reading your report. Don't judge anybody in the report or use slang or rude words. Once you identify people in your report, refer to them as Mr. or Mrs. when you mention them again. Here's some report writing tips. Always use black ink. It copies better than blue ink. Always use past tense. Detail events in chronological order. When paraphrasing, do not use quotation marks. Good spelling and grammar is always a plus. Use polite choice of words. Do not include your opinions and remember just the facts. What about after you write the report? You want to make sure that you reread it to proofread any errors. If you see a mistake, do not erase it. Draw a single line through it and initial it. Then write the correct information in a nearby margin. If extensive corrections are needed, rewrite the whole report. File the report in a safe and secure confidential place where your supervisor will find it. And also make sure you include on your daily security report that an incident report was created and for what type of incident. 